Welcome IT Techers. So uh, today we're going to be looking at um, the second phase of the problem solving methodology and that phase is called design. And in particular we're going to be looking at annotating a, li a layout diagram uh, for uh, a graph. So I'll just turn over the page here. As you can see here I've got a very simple graph all drawn up. You'll notice how I've done it um, in freehand, I haven't uh, used any rules or any, any, anything of a sort, uh, but it is still relatively neat and tidy and quite legible. Uh, you'll notice up here that I have uh, indicated what the main title of the actual graph will be, uh, and down here I have the y-axis, and that y-axis also indicates here that number is involved in the data set along this particular y-axis. And in actual fact, this number set, if we look at what the graph is about, which is kilometres walked over a week, it could be by a group of people or one person in particular, it doesn't really matter. But along here, in sequence, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, it's going to be in kilometres. So in actual fact, I'm going to put the title kilometers and so we can clearly see that the y that the y axis the measurement is all based around um, uh, kilometers down below here obviously these are the days of the week now that sometimes it can be quite obvious but I always tend to put make sure that I have a title for my exit uh, my x axis so this is for days of the week and so I can clearly see here that I have a main title, a y-axis title, and an x-axis title. Now what I need to actually indicate here also is the type of a graph that we're particularly looking at here. So in this case here, I'm looking at a column graph. What I'm actually doing at the moment is I'm actually annotating the layout diagram because then I can hand this particular diagram to another person who can actually create it in a spreadsheet or inspire data or um, in any software uh, that allows you to uh, create such a, um, a graphical representation. So these are obviously columns. I'll also indicate here that these particular columns Um, maybe contrast in colour. I may indicate, I could indicate that they're all the same colour, or I could actually indicate that they will have varying colours uh, that will contrast up against each other. Um, here I may just want to finish off my graph, so I'll just draw this particular over here, and we'll have Sunday, they're going for a leisurely two kilometre stroll they may be. I may want to just shade these in to indicate that they will be filled with a colour. Notice how I'm being reasonably neat and tidy but precision isn't of the utmost importance. So now I've got my title, now I've got my uh, my uh, axis titles here, I've got some annotations indicating the type of graph and also uh, indicating there's going to be a contrast in colour. Uh, the last thing I would actually add to here would be the formatting of the text, these particular pieces of text here, here and here. So let's look at the main title. So I would indicate by putting main title. And because it's going to be an online display, I think I'll do the main title in an aerial font, um, black. And I think I'll have it at about 18 point in height. These here I'll call the axis titles. And again, I may have them as aerial. I may put them as also black, but being not as important as the major heading, I'll put it at around, maybe probably around about maybe 10 point. 
these particular points can vary. I just want to make sure that I have a significant difference between the main title and your axis title because we are looking at some proportional hierarchy here. And that is how I would annotate a graph. Thank you.